Hey guys, Jacob here from Wolfie Team Gaming, bringing you another Shadowverse video. Today we move on from the primal forces of wood and herbal medicine, and move on to the use of hard long steel. Join us as we guide you through the Shadowverse class of Swordcraft. As you can see, swords at first glance seem to be nothing more than deadly length of steel. But you can't be more wrong. Swordcraft players bring not only their trusty swords, but also their friends, their friends' friends, and their friends' friends' family. As long as someone they know knows someone else, a swordcraft player will never run out of allies. This status of being the very avatar of pyramid schemes everywhere is the bread and butter of swordcraft players, embodied even by their leaders. Erica, a seemingly loyal maid who may as well be the hidden power behind the throne. Latham, a renowned military captain who may or may not be skimming off the top. And then we have a legendary hero on the battlefield. Uh, not you, Lancer. We're talking about Melissa, okay? But Jacob, don't swordcraft players only know how to hit people in the face? Well, that's where you're wrong. To say that swordcraft is played by boorish people who are more muscle than brain is a common misconception. As any Magic the Gathering player can tell you, swords are white magic. Any strapping young lad or lass with working arms can hold a sword. But to truly master swordcraft, one must be a master of white magic. Gandalf uses a sword. Merlin uses a sword. Even baby wizards can use a sword. A poor wizard will cast Fireball. A proper wizard will cast Iron. This is the true power of Swordcraft. Its wielders are fully capable of throwing a veritable mountain of bodies at enemies with no regard for friendly casualties. Because there's always another quick bleeder. Another knight, your service. or another shield guardian to step over their fallen friend's corpse and into the enemy's face. Some may call this charisma, or leadership, or tactics, but whatever it's called, it's the source of a swordcraft player's strength. It's what let Gandalf trick a bunch of Avon hobbits into climbing a volcano. I will take the ring to Mordor. It's what lit Merlin con an unsuspecting peasant to work a thankless job as a government official. And it's what let Harry Potter, uh... W's master now, Harry Potter, sir. Anyway, Swordcraft is what Magic the Gathering players would equate to white weenie decks. White because, as we've said, white magic is what Swordcraft wielders use to replenish their dying population. And weenie because, let's be honest, swords kind of look like steel weenies. Unlike the time-consuming explosive combos of Farscraft, or the cancerous control gameplay of Runecraft, which you'll have to subscribe by the way to find out more in the next video. Swordcraft players manage the battlefield, deploying annoyingly numerous or annoyingly sticky units on the board, before overwhelming the opponent in favorable combat trades. They play fast, hit fast, and it's extremely difficult to actually clear the board for more than one turn. So if that's your thing, pluck out your heart, lock it in a chest, and start sending people to their deaths. Once again, this is Jacob from the Movie Team. Be sure to like and subscribe the video for more of our content. See you guys in the next video. Bye!